hello, hello. It feels like forever since I've been in front of the camera because I just got back from my 10 or 11 day trip and look what was waiting for me in my mailbox. Very excited. Two art subscription boxes. We are only gonna open one because as you know, I like to spend a lot of time with each one, figure out if I like the supplies and do the projects involved in them. So we're gonna do palatable packs today. Let's get to it. So welcome, my name is Miranda, and on this channel we do two art subscription boxes each month. You just saw those two. And lots of watercolor goodness. Sometimes we get distracted by another random art supply, but usually just watercolor and art subscription boxes. So welcome if you're new. Quick update for my longtime followers. Thank you, by the way. You guys are awesome. Anyway, I did just get back from my 10, 11 day trip. So the timeline on my videos was kind of weird there for a while. I'm like, okay, on the last Friday's video, I'm like, this is what I'm taking with me. And then now I'm like, I'm back, guess what? <laughs> but I did not film videos while I was gone. So those were all pre-programmed to come in so that you guys wouldn't miss a video while I was gone. So you guys just saw the travel supplies that I took with me on that 10 day trip. I'll link that in this corner here for you. So I didn't end up filming anything on that trip because we were actually really, really busy. And I did do prep for the class that I'm teaching, which actually starts today, the day I'm filming this, which is Tuesday, February, I don't know, 9th, I think, but not, not that it matters. Let's get to palatable packs, enough of that. All right, we have palatable packs and the cat is gonna help. <laughs> Here we go. Ta-da. Okay, oh, that's cool. What is this? Full of purple paper worms, nice. Little journal, all white pages, no dots on it, so it's not technically like a bullet journal. I thought the paper was super thin, but it's just kind of thin. And it's soft cover. I like soft cover journals, so I think I will get a lot of use out of this. We'll see how it works with whatever came inside here. Let's find out. Two, do you see his paw? <laughs> Two Tombow water-based ABT markers. Wake up one of these, I think, in a previous box. I don't quite remember what, when, where, how, but two of those. Ooh, oh, three of those. I missed one. Oh, theme is green this month, apparently. Wow, look at this. Very dusty. <laughs> oh, it's all purple worm dust. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Micron Sakura 100th Anniversary Limited Edition Black Barrel Set. Wow, is that fancy. And look at all of those sizes. There are sizes in here I've never had before. This one, whatever that is, we'll find out. And I've never had the 10, 12. I think I have had a PN before. I'm not sure if it was in a Micron or not, but look at that. Look at all those sizes. This is going to be fun. Here's the card if you want to pause and read. And the tips and techniques if you'd like to pause and read. And then our prompts are cabin, furry, leaf, and eye. I always like cabin. That's probably it in here. That's a lot. Yep, that's it. All right, back to this goodness. I should have read this, but that's okay. I think we know pretty much what we're doing with these. Oh, so this is Hello Alice's artwork. Nice. Let's try these out and see what this paper is like. We'll go ahead and skip that first page just because it's annoying. Should we? Yeah, we should. We'll start with the darkest green. Does this have a color name? It's 346. No color name that I can see. Made in Vietnam. Okay, we can get nice thin lines. As long as we don't put any pressure on it. That's full pressure. And then you saw the side of the marker there. Thin tip. Very stiff tip on that side. Second green. That's pretty, it's like a leaf green. Color 195. Yeah, these bullet tips are very stiff. This is the yellow green, although it shows up very yellow on the paper. It's a lot lighter than I expected it to be. Yeah, that's really subtle. <laughs> That'll be pretty. And all these microns. I'm kind of excited to try the ones I have never tried before. I kept them in no order whatsoever. All right, let's get that one that I didn't know what the symbol on the end meant. It is, ah, a point zero zero three or just a zero zero three. Wow, what would you even do with something so little? Oh my goodness, can you guys even see it so little? <laughs> That's tiny. 
That's cool. That probably won't last long because I tend to not do good with those tiny little points. All right, what's next? The 005. That looks surprisingly bigger after using that teeny tiny one. Getting quite a bit larger already, just like that. Well, hey, have you ever wondered what all these sizes look like? Here you go. I use the 05 a lot. That's one of my go-tos. 08. I've used the 08 quite a bit too in Inktober. It's kind of a handy. Now to the new size I've never had, a 10. Oh, that's so much fun. Ooh, 12. Oh, I love it. Look how the cute little tips they have. <laughs> Well, cute big tips, I guess. <laughs> nice. I kind of want to color more in there. <laughs> and the PN, which is, yeah, the plastic. Very fine detail with that one. Reminds me a lot of these, probably the 01 the most. Well, this is all of our supplies. Guess we better look at those prompts again and figure out what the heck we're creating. Cabin, furry, leaf, and I. I'm gonna have to do some thinking on this one. Hello and welcome back. Oh wait, you've been here the whole time. It is me that is coming back now. What is all that? I think that is purple worm dust. Anyway, so what's really cool is I've had to take several breaks, I guess you should say. <laughs> I've had to move away from my art desk for a while and every time I've had to walk by it though, I'm like, yes, the 10 and the 12, where are they? Microns and I'd like, stop real quick and open one up and scribble on a piece of paper with it because these tips are just so cool. I've just never had anything like this. My son even came by and he's like, what are those? <laughs> so he opened them up, he scribbled, he's like, these are so cool, they're like a regular marker. <laughs> so these are fun and I'm going to enjoy using them. I do finally have time to sit down and work on some of these prompts. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, then you know that I do Smart Art Box and Palette Packs, and I mentioned that in the beginning of the video too, if you're new. But anyway, so with Palette Packs, they do give you the prompts but there's no real motivation to do them. Like with Smart Art, you get rewards points that you can redeem for free products, coupons, discounts on future boxes. What happens with Palletful Packs is you may get featured on their website, and obviously if you use these prompts, people can search for you, and that is awesome too. But the thing with the prompts is it spurs new ideas, and that's what I really like about having them. So even if there's no outside motivation to do these prompts, I encourage you to at least try some of them because you can come up with something new. I am definitely going to do cabin, furry, and leaf. Whoops, you can't see that. Cabin, furry, and leaf. Because I have some fun ideas for that. I'm just looking at the sizes here. And yeah, my two favorites are right here. I just love these. Before I get into my drawing, one thing I will say about this box is that you walk by this stuff and you're like, yes, I wanna pick this sketchbook up and use it. I want to play with these microns. The markers I don't care about but really that much, but I do love markers normally. I just, I don't know, there's only three of them. I have some ideas for them, but that's about it. But like the microns and this awesome sketchbook, it is one of those things that just makes you want to sit down and start drawing or doodling. So that's really cool and I'm glad that they did that in this box. We're going to do cabin furry and leaf for sure. I'm actually, as usual, going to combine these all into one drawing. There's a few times that I have not done that. And I'm going to just draw right from the beginning with the microns. Not use a pencil sketch or anything. And one thing I think I forgot to tell you guys is this is the page that I swatched on and the back side, it did not come through. You can see ghosting of what I drew on the other side because it is eh, relatively thin paper. I think it said 80 pounds, I finally read that. 70 pounds. Little thin paper, but the markers did not fully bleed through, and that's pretty cool. Even with that, I think I'm going to do my cabin sketch over on this side. Enough chatting. Let's get drawing already. So it's always a little risky when you just go right in with a micron pen and just start sketching. So I did make a few mistakes, but nothing that was a big deal. You could see I was having trouble on that right side. Every time I tried to do something over there on that right side, it's like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> my hand just did its own thing and oh well, we'll fix that later. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> like that bottom log right there on the roof is angled up. You can see I just tried to fix it. Yeah, it's okay. It's really fun to just sketch with pens directly sometimes and I would recommend you give it a try. 
it's just, it's different. It's different than with a pencil. You know you can't fix it, so you just have to make it work. And I like that, that whole concept sometimes. So definitely give that a try. <laughs> Also, I realized when I got my resubscription to the Palette Full Packs, I told you guys it would be $407 for an entire year, but they actually charged me the same price I was charged last year, the $389 and some change. So I think if you're already signed up for a subscription, they keep your price. They lock it in. So I was so happy. I'm like, sweet. I have like $18 more than I thought I would this month. So that was really fun. And yeah, I like Palette Full Packs. I'm still a little torn. Like... I'm this minimalist wannabe kind of person and I'm getting these subscription boxes every month still and it is adding a lot of stuff to my supplies but there's some stuff that I really like and I want to keep and there's some things that I'll give away and so uh, I don't know I'm torn about it I love these they kind of make my day when I get them in the mail it's like Christmas <laughs> and there's something really exciting being an artist trying to find and use new art supplies so I'm going to keep the subscription boxes for now. Hey, I said the word right. Yay. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. It, it's, it's a hard balance, I think. And if you want to talk about the value of this particular box, that Micron set alone was $36. That sketchbook that was featuring Hello Alice's artwork was $12. And I did watch Doomsayer Designs video once I was done with this one, so I wouldn't be you know, influenced. <laughs> he did say that he couldn't find these microns under 40 and he couldn't even find this full set. So there you go. <laughs> Good value. And this sketchbook was partnered with Denik, D-E-N-I-K, and it says through the sale of sketchbooks such as this one, they help fund education projects worldwide. So that's very cool. And while I do find drawing less satisfying than painting, I do notice that when I do Inktober and stuff, I'm like, oh, this was kind of fun. You know, I challenge my skills for this and that and it's a good practice and I have this awesome sketchbook now that I really need to use so hopefully I will get into my sketchbooks more. <laughs> Maybe? And then when I find that I'm going to draw something I'm like well I don't really want this to be like realism. I really like the cartoonish aspect, the fun, and you can see that in this door here how it's kind of squished in in the sides and the windows are kind of squished in, in the sides. In fact the whole cabin is kind of like squished in and I find that really fun. And I tend to think my drawings are finished before they really are. Okay, cabin, furry, leaves maybe? <laughs> I didn't do eye. And I could probably do more shading on my cabin and all of that. It's tempting. And because I just don't really enjoy pin shading and all of that, even though it looks really cool when people do it right, I went ahead and like did some more because <laughs> my cabin just looked so flat and it still looks flat in the end because I just ran out of time and there's so many things that I could have changed or added or kept adding to it. Stippling, cross hatching, this and that with the uh, microns, but it is what it is and it's okay and I kind of like it. I didn't use every micron, but I used several of them, more than I often do, so that was cool. Those 10 and 12s, oh my gosh, guys, go get them. They're super fun. <laughs> this is a fun palette full packs. I really like the sketchbook being the soft cover like that, and look how it opens, nice and flat. We'll see how the middle pages do as I keep using it, which will be never, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I don't use my sketchbooks very often, but I'm working on that. Look, I smeared that, so that's great. That's that's good. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the sketch that you get when you don't start with a pencil, and I think that was fun. I think something else that could be fun is putting some trees back there, getting some of the green pulled up farther. That's all right. Could definitely do more shading on the cabin, like make this, since it is inside the roof, I could hatch this part darker and then put this in a lighter hatching. That would give it some more contour for sure. But I am out of time and this is just a fun little sketch. Again, these products just make you wanna pick up this sketchbook and these microns especially and just doodle in this book. So this might be a fun combination for doing uh, Joanna Basford's Inky School that I mentioned in a previous video, which I'll link up here for you guys. And I think I might do that with these. I think that would be a really good use of all of these supplies, even adding in some of these green markers in that. Would you like to see that in a future video? Let me know below. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. 
palette packs is usually never disappointing, so I highly recommend their subscription box. And this was a fun little project. All right, that's it for now. I will see you in the next video, which will be smart art. Until then, bye bye Hello, hello. And here comes the cat. <laughs> you silly. Quick update, uh, quick update. Mm. You just saw the travel supplies that I took with you in my last video, <laughs> that I took with you. <laughs> Let me speak more better English. <laughs>